Hello guys, what's up? I'm Surush Designer. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about how we can model some type of wardrobe in SketchUp. So, wardrobbers is one of the famous furnitures for any type of houses. And we remember it like the old lockers in classical rooms or houses. But today I'm going to talk about how you can model wardrobes very fast and easy. So, first of all, I'm going to click on the window option, model info, units, and change my unit to the centimeter for the better results. So, I'm going to click on the rectangle in here and draw some type of rectangle with some dimension about 80 to 200. So, now I want to extrude it. So, I'm going to click on the push or pull. Press Ctrl on my keyboard and push it up about 300 cm. So uh, after all of these jobs, now time for the uh, dimension lines or take some type of copies. First of all, for modeling any type of wardrobes, actually you have some type of doors, some type of uh, automatic drivers or other type of things. So you can use tape measure for the uh, taping like this or you can take some copy of simple line and edges I'm gonna select second pass so uh, I'm gonna click on the uh, these edge in here and click on the uh, move option press control on my keyboard copy action has been available for us now so I'm gonna left click and start my modeling with copying this line on blue axis about 10 centimeter Another copy of it about 100 centimeter and again another copy in for example 140 centimeter. So in this place I want to adjust some type of doors for the uh, clothes and other type of things with the uh, more height. And in this place I'm gonna create some type of doors for shoes or other type of things. And in this place we have other things in the wardrobe. So I'm going to click on this line in here and take some triple copy. For example, one copy in 70 cm and another one in this place about 90 cm. So I'm going to use this place as the drivers. So uh, I'm going to take some copy of these about four like that. And for example, another copy of it in this place about 20 or 26, for example. You can adjust your numbers with the eraser option, very simple and easy. So you can adjust with some numbers like this, for example, or you can create these type of things in here. So now time for using the offset option. Offset is one of the important things in wardrobe modeling. So I'm going to use offset. For example, we have some offset about 1.6. And if you make the half of the 1.6, actually 0.8, you can create these type of offsets for your job. It's really useful like this because Finally, you can only delete these type of extra lines very simple and easy and it's really increase your speed in 3D modeling. So when I do this work in here and here like this, so I'm going to use push or pull option about 78, 78 for all of them. something like that and now I can delete these type of extra lines very simple and easy so as you can see we create this wardrobe I think under than two minutes and it's really useful technique for your 3d modeling after all of this you must use extrude option again and extrude these sides a little bit for example something about 0 0.8 0 0.8 and 0 0.8 for this place and you can push this place back about two centimeter. I think everything is good now. So I'm going to click on it and make some type of group. At the final, you need to create the doors. So I'm going to draw this rectangle in here, convert it to the component, and take some fast copies of it in this place, like that. So 
actually the dimensions is not at, as the same so I'm gonna use the uh, scale option and recheck my scales very fast and easy like this and now I'm gonna select these faces in here and take some another copies of it in this place so another time I'm gonna scale it like that very simple very fast it's really useful in your 3d jobs so uh, another time I'm gonna rescale it in this place another time rescale it in here and you can take these copies anywhere you want for example I'm gonna take some copy in this place and rescale it fast and remember all of them is the one component so components is really useful in the wardrobe 3d modeling something like this and another one like that so I'm gonna convert it very fast to the uh, fit dimensions like this and another copy of this face in here so I think everything is done now I only need to extrude these lines and faces to create some type of 3d shapes so I'm gonna use one of them and extrude it a little bit for example 1.6 centimeter very really simple and easy for materializing them you only need to open one of them and check the uh, color named option in here and we have for example dark gray in this place very really simple and easy as you can see we create these type of wardrobe I think under them five minutes with some simple actions in the uh, SketchUp so I hope you enjoyed this video like and subscribe don't forget it please support us for more free tutorials so goodbye.